There's been quite a bit of fear mongering around food supply chain issues. Ice Age Farmer has predicted a lot of this stuff happening, but what I don't like is that he is overwhelmingly negative and doesn't really explain things in depth or actually predict too much of what we should be doing. That being said, he's been right. And just like last year, there are predictions for more unusually cold weather devastating the crops. But if there is a food shortage, why is so much food going to waste? Dumped milk, smashed eggs, plowed vegetables, food waste of the pandemic. With restaurants, hotels, and schools closed, many of the nation's largest farms are destroying millions of pounds of fresh foods that they can no longer sell. In Wisconsin and Ohio, Farmers are dumping thousands of gallons of fresh milk into lagoons and manure pits. And that's not even correct. They're actually dumping millions of gallons. An Idaho farmer has dug huge ditches to bury 1 million pounds of onions. And in South Florida, a region that supplies much of the eastern half of the United States with produce, tractors are crisscrossing bean and cabbage fields, plowing perfectly ripe vegetables back into the soil. Ice Age Farmer claims all of this is a controlled demolition of our food supply and the further you look into this, the scarier it gets. We're seeing double the lines for regular meal distributions at homeless centers and that's exactly what they want for everyone. Absolute control over your food where you don't have a choice. But the focus does seem to be on taking away meat, you know, for some reason. And we spoke about this a lot yesterday. I mean, it's no coincidence that slaves hundreds to thousands of years ago ate mostly grains. Smithfield Foods, which supplies over 18 million meals per day, is shutting down in South Dakota. These farmers have nowhere to sell their animals. Warns of meat shortages during the pandemic. These facility closures will also have severe, perhaps disastrous repercussions for many in the supply chain. First and foremost, our nation's livestock farmers. Three meat plants shut in Iowa and Pennsylvania as Toyota Corolla spreads. And guess what happens to the animals? They get rid of them, literally throwing away food. Those producers will go broke without a place to sell pigs. Sow units will have to euthanize pigs since barns can't be empty. Toyota Corolla shutdown leads to mass chicken slaughter in China food shortage and soaring meat prices ahead. Fears forced China into mass chicken cull, Beijing to import US birds as traffic shutdown leads to poultry feed shortages. <laughs> The same thing happened in India. There was some fake news about an illness being traced back to chickens and they had to bury hundreds of thousands of them. So now they're importing chicken from Brazil. And guess what else? Now there's a highly pathogenic avian issue in South Carolina. This is absolutely crazy. Like if this isn't the controlled demolition of our food supply, then what is? It seems to be less of an attack on vegetables, but food is still getting wasted. Toyota Corolla claims an unexpected victim, Florida vegetables. Mounds of harvested zucchini and yellow squash ripened and then rotted in the hot Florida sun. Juicy tomatoes were left to wither, unpicked in farmers' fields. Thousands of acres of fruits and vegetables grown in Florida are being plowed over or left to rot because farmers can't sell to restaurants, theme parks, or schools nationwide that have closed because of the Toyota Corolla. But guess what? You can't grow your own vegetables. Lotto tickets are okay, but not seeds. Residents baffled after Michigan bans purchases of non-essential items. Michigan governor says no to greenhouse plant sales in Toyota Corolla order. You know what's crazier than this? New Zealand butcher shops deemed non-essential. And we know where this is going cockroach milk and fake meat. Although this is what Ice Age Farmer is insistent on, I'm a big believer in remaining positive and I hope the majority of Americans aren't going to let this happen to them. Uh, let's see how things go over the next month or two before getting too crazy. That being said, they already have control of our food. 
they're already setting up these Wi-Fi towers. You know, the sheep will remain in the herd and people aren't going to wake up. You know, they can literally do this again in the fall if they want to. They can lock us in our homes whenever they want because they're trying to make it a regular thing. Uh, it's, it's pretty sad uh, where our society is going. And I think they're going to let the latch off before people really start speaking out. And then, you know, a few months from now when they put the latch back on, <laughs> those people might be gone for some reason. Uh, so if you guys want to join us for the live stream later, we're going to have a carnivore diet Q&A on the channel Frank to Fano, which I'll link down below. Uh, of course, if you guys could please like the video, leave me a comment down below. And if you want to support me further, definitely check out some of the links down in the description. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Hope you're doing okay.